Hi, welcome back to a new update video on the channel. Today we're going to talk about the newest update on Microsoft Power Automate and that's about the option to pin actions when you're populating the fields that you uh, need for them to work, right? So sometimes we have actions that are very similar and uh, if we don't remember, for example, the SharePoint site or maybe a specific ID and so on or what we entered in some other fields, then we always had to close one uh, action item and then move to another one. So for example, if some information that I enter in the create item here are similar like in the get item, let me zoom in a little bit. When I click here, I will see the options here on the left hand side. And if I need to enter the same data in the create item for, uh, action, then I need to click there and then I don't have the get item uh, fields anymore. I don't, I don't see them. I need to go back and forth every time. So what Microsoft did is very clever. So for example, if I'm here in the create item, I can now right click on the other action that I need to somehow copy the data or replicate the data. And now I can pin that action. So as you can see here, we have the option to pin the action. And now we have the two action items next to each other and I can see what items or what fields are populated on the left hand side and replicate that on my new action I just created. So I think this is a great new update and very simple but very effective and I'm really looking forward to making my um, yeah future power to my development uh, work a little bit easier and more fun. I hope you think the same. If you do so then let me know in the comments what's your thoughts and uh, also if you like the channel and if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe thanks for watching have fun bye